Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be speaking on my favorite hacking tools for Wi-Fi pen testing. So before we actually get started with the video, I just wanna make a disclaimer. This is for educational purposes. And the next thing, I will not be performing any attacks today. I'm just gonna showcase the tools. So if you continue to the video, I wanna make this clear. You need to have some kind of Wi-Fi dongle that supports promiscuous mode that you can do packet injection. So this is a Panda Wi-Fi card right here, it's a USB, but I have an alpha in my desktop. So I just wanna put that out there. So if you continue, if you try to run any commands and they're not working because you're trying to use your, in, uh, your onboard card, it's not gonna work. All right, just wanna put that out there. All right, so remember guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this for those who wanna learn more. So thank you so much, and let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are. So the first couple of commands you can run to make sure your USB dongle is installed correctly the first one you can do is just do LSUSB. Whoop, let me click on here, LSUSB. And this is gonna list the USB devices that are attached to your machine or to your VM or to your laptop, whatever you wanna, whatever you're doing, right? So here is my wireless adapter right here. The next thing we can do is an IW config, which is sort of like if config, but for the wireless adapters. So if I see here, I have WLAN zero, it's in manage mode. So this means it's working as a regular Wi-Fi wi uh, adapter, right? It's not in monitor mode, but that's just the first two commands you can run to make sure your devices are working correctly. All right, so again, I have about 10 different tools I wanna showcase. I'm not gonna be going into detail on how to use these tools, but I wanna give you a brief overview. I wanna try to keep this short, sweet, and to the point. So I have a list of them right here. And uh, the first one on my list is Aircrack NG. I think everyone should uh, know this, uh, or dash dash help, or let me just do dash dash help, or dash, it. I can't even see. I don't know if this uh, position of my mic is the best, but it is what it is. All right, so you can see here, and I've you know ran this command, I've done different attacks, you can watch the videos on how to use this tool. But this is the first tool to learn, in my opinion, to learn some Wi-Fi hacking. So get used to this command, get used to this tool, and it's it's super, super, super uh, informative tool. All right, the next one here is gonna be Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is another automated tool that you can utilize for Wi-Fi pen testing. It's super convenient, super easy, and you can just, let's just do a dash H really quick. So. It can automate so many cool things. And uh, yeah, so I'm running version 2.7.0. And you can actually just say for an example, let's go, let's hit the up arrow and I can do dash I for interface, right? And WLAN zero, WLAN zero. Okay, so now this is gonna go out and look for targets and so on and so forth. Here it goes, okay? So I wanna do a control C and this is, these are all my networks. You know, I, I have a few networks set up. So these are my networks and yes, I'm not gonna go ahead and attack them, but you can see here WPS. I have some that I test. This is my prod network. And obviously I don't have WPS installed on there, but for some other ones I do for testing purposes. So yes, that is good to go. And I wanna go ahead and kill that with a control C. So that's the number two tool on my list. The next one is gonna be Armageddon. Okay, so Armageddon, Airgeddon, or Air, however you say that. This is another automated script. It's really, really cool. And you can just hit enter to continue here. And this is gonna go ahead and do the initial checks, make sure everything is good to go. And let's go ahead and hit continue. And now we have this chip. You'll see all the interfaces that you want to utilize, right? So for example, for me, I'll do uh, number three. I'm not gonna, like again, I'm not gonna go into detail, but you can do this for yourself, test out these tools and put it in the comments, which ones you like the best, right? 
So you can just go go down the list and, uh, for example, select uh, another network uh, interface, put the put it in monitor mode, put it into manage mode. This is pretty cool, right? So I want to go ahead and hit zero for quit, because like again, this is not a tutorial for how to use these tools. And I want to go ahead. Do you want to? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So that's the third tool. The next one is I. I Cow Patty. So Cow Patty is another tool that we can utilize for cracking different passwords and automating dictionary attacks. This is something that you should definitely have in your arsenal. I had it over here as Co <laughs> Cow Addy. Uh, I forgot the P in my actual documentation over here. But that's the next one. That's you know it's it's a pretty useful tool. And uh, yes, and if these aren't installed on your Cali machine or whatever, you can you can get them out on GitHub. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, let's go to the next one, Kismet. So Kismet is another awesome, awesome tool. Let's do Kismet. So what this is going to do is open up a browser and you can do, you know, scanning. It's going to scan for uh, uh, hidden SS, uh, SSIDs. So what I want to do is it's listening in on my local machine on port 2501. So if we open up a browser, and as you can see up here, it says localhost uh, 2501. So if I just do 127.001, 2501, you can see it here. Let's see if I can make this bigger. And you can see the different SSIDs. You can see the different devices. And obviously I don't have nothing right now at the moment. All right, so you can, uh, you know, you can just tinker with this and see what's up. Maybe because it's not running as a uh, root user is running as root this is less secure blah 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 so you can just take a look at it and uh and this is only running on 2.4 gigahertz on this card but you get the gist you can just tinker with this and uh, this is another tool for your toolkit for wi-fi pen testing right so let me let's go ahead and kill that so that's number four so number five is flexion so i want to do an ls here so i have flexion right here i downloaded all the tools already that I wanted to showcase so I don't have to deal with the installation. So let's go ahead and go into there. Okay. And what we can do is just do dot backslash flexion. Okay. So this is another tool that you can utilize and I'm in English. So I want to do number five. And you can see that you can have a captive portal. You know, you can do so many things. This is awesome for uh, security engineering or social engineering, excuse me, and uh, just security auditing, right? Different kind of reset. Uh, this is another research tool, right? So, you know, you can see, okay, you wanna set up a uh, captive portal, and now it's gonna set up your um, your interface for monitor mode, interface, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I only have, you know, one 2.4 gigahertz, and this is gonna go out here and do its thing, okay? So I wanna go ahead and X out of here and kill that. Let's just go ahead and exit. Okay. Like I said, I, I just want to, uh, let's go ahead. All right, let's go. All right, thank you. Thank you for using, thank you. Okay, there we go. All right, so I wanna go CD dot dot really quick. So that's the sixth tool on the list. The next one is Angry Oxide. So I think I have that downloaded, right? So let's go into Angry Oxide. Okay, so this is just another tool that we can utilize. So Angry Oxide dash H. I just made sure all the tools work before I started the video because I don't want to be here troubleshooting. And yeah, this is just another awesome tool. And if you don't know how to use it, obviously it's all right here. And uh, the next tool that I want to showcase is it's one of my favorites, I think. Uh, Wi-Fi Pumpkin. So Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3. And so if you type that, you can get in. So what Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 is, it's pretty much a rogue access point. You can set up your own rogue access point, which is really, really cool. Look, this has a pumpkin. All right, so you can type in help here. And then we can see AP show all, you know, valuable and status from the APs clients, blah, blah, blah. And you can just tinker with it, right? 
like I said, I'm not gonna get into detail on how to use these tools because this will be an hour to showcase 10 tools, how to use them. But you guys get the gist, hopefully. And if you have any questions on a specific tool, you know, maybe we can, you know, set up a one-on-one. -on -one. You can hit me up on Discord and we can go through the tool, okay? And I was just asked so many, so many times what tools, because I talk about Wi-Fi hacking, Wi-Fi pen testing, Wi-Fi, you know, projects. And I wanted to showcase a lot of the tools I utilize outside of just my, you know, my videos. So that was number, was that number eight? So the next one is, is, is better cap. So better cap is pretty, pretty cool. It's not really so much for Wi-Fi hacking, but it's, you know, made for folks like us. If you're into red teaming, you're into security researching, you know, and this does a whole bunch of stuff. I actually have a little note here. So, you know, it's a powerful tool and it's written in Go and it's aimed for security researchers like you guys, red teamers, reverse engineers, and it's an all-in-one solution, you know, with all the features that can be performed for reconnaissance for Wi-Fi networks, you know, Bluetooth, HID, and so on and so forth, right? So if we just hit like help here, all right, we can see everything that's running. So now if we wanna say, for example, help, Let's do uh, net probe. Okay, let's do, whoops, net.probe. Okay, we can see obviously start, we can stop it, etc. And this just keeps probing new hosts. So we can just do that really quick. Let's just give that a, sh let's do net.probe on, and we can see now it's on, right? So now it's gonna listen in, blah, blah, blah. And I'm running this in VMware. All right, so that's the, the ninth tool so the last and final tool i really like it i don't know if others like it but it's it's fern wi-fi cracker and let's just go out here and just do fern wi-fi cracker root and let's just go ahead and my nope that's not my uh put the wrong password all right so this is another cool tool that you can utilize it's, uh, you, you know, obviously this is really small, but you can select your interface, no. And mine's wireless zero, I'll try to zoom that baby in. And here we can scan for different access points once this thing is done, yeah, whatever. Now it's already in, in, in monitor mode, we can scan active. And now we're just, you know, scanning and it's, you know, the latest is uh, updated and all that stuff. So we can see here, it's doing its thing, right? So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and uh, X out of here. And yeah, that is about it. So yeah, I hope you guys find this informative. If you guys have any questions for me, leave it in the comments below. And this is all the, these aren't all the tools and all the cool things I do with Wi-Fi hacking because I have physical devices like Wi-Fi pineapples, my Flipper Zero, other like the nano, other little things, but these are some cool tools that you can download for free. As long as you have a little dongle like this that you can plug into your laptop and you can have your uh, uh, dongle into monitor mode or USB or whatever you wanna call it, that's all you need and you can have fun. Just set up your own little access point at home and m remember, please don't do this against like your neighbor or anything like that. This is pretty much for educational purposes and to learn. And hopefully you found this informative. And if you have any questions, please throw it in the comments below. Remember, please like, subscribe and share. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you in the next one.